Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me because I really need to clean my house and I'm gonna be showing you guys all the kids chores that they do every single morning during the summer and we're gonna get this house clean together. So hopefully you'll clean along with me, get some extreme cleaning motivation from this video. Also, the fun thing about this video is it's an extra special clean with me because I'm gonna be doing something at the end of this video that I don't normally do on a regular night but it's something that is a little bit extra special for the kids to make our summer a little bit more fun. And this extra special cleaning video is a brand new idea that me and some of my other friends here on YouTube, my YouTube besties came up with, and I'm gonna have links to all of their videos in the description box because they're doing extra special clean with me today too. But we kinda came up with this idea to make cleaning videos even more motivating, if that's even possible, but also to encourage you guys to do something extra special for the ones that you love in your life. And then if you are a YouTuber, then we highly encourage you guys to start doing some of these videos as well just to give us some fun ideas on how we can make our loved ones feel just extra special so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and let's jump on into this video all right so this morning I'm starting in my bedroom and I do this almost every single morning I will get up get dressed, I'll have my cup of coffee, and then I usually come in here and go ahead and make up my bed because if I make up my bed, then I just feel like I'm more motivated to get other things done and get moving around the house instead of just sit and look on social media because I can get sucked into the Instagram trap. Like, that's my favorite social media platform, I think. And I will either sit on Instagram or I'll look at my other friends here on YouTube, follow people that I follow and watch their videos, things like that. So I will sit there and do that if I don't get up and get started going first thing in the morning. Y'all let me know if you're the same way and also let me know your favorite social media platform, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, Pinterest. What do you guys get sucked into? Because I love hearing about all that. I hardly ever get on Facebook anymore. Um, rarely I will click in but I even turn the notifications off of my phone for some reason I kept getting all these notifications from Facebook so a few months ago I turned off the notifications and now I completely forget about Facebook most of the time um, but I do have a Facebook page where all of my Instagram posts go to so if you are on Facebook you can look for Team Darley there I couldn't change the name of the Facebook page so it's not Amy Darley it's just Team Darley there but Anyways, let me know your favorite social media platform and let me know if you're the same way, if you get sucked into it or if you're pretty good about staying off of your phone. So that little basket that I just moved was toys and it was pretty much just to hold down our rug. We were trying to get it to lay flat. But now I'm gonna do our laundry and I have already folded most of the laundry but this is just a little bit that we had left and then a lot of hang ups and then that other laundry basket it just had our bath mats that we washed and got and we're actually going to get rid of those they were the ones that went into our bathroom but we got the new runner in there so we no longer need those bath mats So really quick, I wanted to remind you guys that in my last video, I talked all about our new summer chore chart, and I'm gonna show you guys that in a few minutes, kind of how the kids are doing their chores. And then also, I talked about our summer bucket list, and you guys gave me so many wonderful ideas in the comments of that video. So we are definitely including some of your ideas as well. So if you are looking for a chore chart or summer bucket list ideas, definitely go check that video out. I'll link it here and then also in the description box in case you wanna go watch it. But I also wanted to say a huge, huge, huge thank you. I could, wish I could just give you guys all a great big hug right now, but I wanted to say thank you so much for helping me get to 50,000 subscribers. I just love this community and I cannot believe we have reached this milestone. Y'all are so amazing. And I'm just so grateful for each and every single one of you guys. So thank you for helping me get here. And you should be celebrating with me because this is our community. I don't feel like this is just my YouTube channel. I definitely feel like this is a place where all of us can share ideas and motivate each other and just lift each other up. And I am just so excited to see where this journey takes us. 
So with that being said, I am going to show you guys a little bit later in the video the giveaway that I'm going to be doing since we did reach 50,000 subscribers. I'm so excited. There are going to be three winners, so definitely stick around for the information on all of that later on in this video. All right, so now we're moving on to the chore chart, and I explained all of this in my last video, but in case you missed it, my kids start off with their chore chart first thing in the morning before they do anything else. They are allowed to eat breakfast, but before they can play with friends or do screen time or any of that, they get started on their chore chart. As you can see, Kaysen started with brushing his teeth and then he moved straight on to making his bed. And yes, we sold his bunk bed, so we have ordered his new bed and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. So we're gonna be kind of doing a little room makeover here in his bedroom, but until we get his new bed in, his mattress is just going to be on the floor and then we are also gonna get him some new bedding to go with his new bed. And now we have Gracie June brushing her teeth and I do kind of help her a little bit here. Um, I didn't get it on camera, but I do try to help her a little bit more with her teeth just to make sure she's brushing really good because obviously she just really wants to brush her tongue here. <laughs> Now she's moving on to making up her bed and honestly I never help either one of them make up their beds or do any of their other chores really. They go up, they do all of it by themselves and then I will check it afterwards. Now in this video because I was filming I was in there with her so I did help her with the quilt at the end of the bed because she will leave it just like that and she thinks it looks pretty. So honestly I have shown them how to make up their beds. It's hard for her to make up, make that quilt, like fold it and everything herself, so I don't worry about that. But the rest of it, she does on her own, and she does such a good job. And then, I think I've told you guys this before, but Kaysen is the one that likes to organize and clean more than Gracie June, so I don't ever have to worry about him. His will be super neat, but they have both been doing such a good job with their summer chores and during the school year I don't really make them do this in the mornings they usually do it in the afternoons if they get to it but during the summer they are definitely doing this every single morning Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some Someone like you Someone like you How nice you did it. The next thing on their chore chart is to clean the playroom and honestly this is not even that bad. Like usually when their friends come over it becomes a huge disaster in here but they have been doing really really good about when their friends come over they'll ask them to help clean up now and then if they pull out a bunch of stuff a lot of times they'll clean it at night but Obviously, they had a few things that needed to be picked up. They did have friends over the day before, and I don't think that they cleaned up that day. But they have been doing such a good job about keeping this playroom so much cleaner since we started the chore chart. And honestly, I decided that from now on, it's pretty much going to be just girl toys on the left side of the room, boy toys on the right side of the room as far as the cubbies go. I don't mind how they organize it because they just end up dumping everything out anyways when they come to play. So I figured it was just as easy just to tell them to put all the toys where they go in a basket somewhere so that they are up off the floor. And that has been working so well. And honestly, it doesn't matter to me because I'm not the one up there playing with the toys looking for them. If they can't find something that they want to find, then they will go through and find it in one of those cubbies. They just know that the girl toys are on the left side of the room and the boy toys are on the right. Someone like you. 
Now they are moving on to laundry and this was the first day that they had actually done the laundry. So I told them that I was going to have a hamper for each of them, which they do have, and their clothes go in there. They are responsible for folding and putting their own clothes up. And so since this was the first day, I sat down with Gracie June and Chance sat down with Kaysen. And I showed Gracie June exactly how I wanted the laundry folded and she did it that way and it worked out great. She already knew where everything went so she did really good putting her clothes up and keeping the drawers, drawers organized the way that I had them. And then Chance sat with Kaysen like I said and actually Kaysen said he already knew how to fold the clothes so he did a really good job folding and putting his clothes away as well. So for our laundry routine, I did a whole video on that and I'll link it here in case you're interested, but pretty much I will wash all of our clothes together. I don't separate them out when I wash them. I wash all of them together and then when I go to fold them, I have these two little hampers, one for Kaysen, one for Gracie June, and I'll just throw their clothes into that hamper as I'm going through and folding my clothes in Chance's clothes. And I do not wash clothes every single day. I probably do it twice a week, maybe. And so, honestly, this chore, they only end up having to do a few times a week. Another thing, if you watched my last video, I was going to update you guys on this. I had said in my last video that I wanted to somehow incorporate giving them money for chores. And so what I ended up doing was they get $2 a day if they complete all of their chores for that day. So they have the opportunity to earn up to $14 a week. I had originally only planned on them doing chores five days a week, but on the weekend, they just started doing their chores on their own. So I was kind of mind blown. I didn't even tell them to do it. They just started. So I was like, hey, okay, well, we'll do seven days a week then. And um, Sundays might be a little bit different just because we have to get up early and go to church. So we may not end up doing that, but... They did six days this week and it worked out so great. Last thing on their chore chart is their learning program, which I purchased from Time for Learning. And I do have a link in the description box in case you want a 14 day free trial. I just paid for the month to month. And then they do one math lesson one day and a reading lesson the next day. And then they are done with all their chores for the day. And I also talked about this in my last video too. So definitely go check that out if you want more information on this program. The next thing that I did while Chance was still here, I got him to help me put out this new rug from Rugs USA. This is the rug that we got for our office and it's so, so pretty. You'll get to see more of it at the end of the video, but it turned out awesome. I love the way it looks in this room. I'm moving on to the kitchen and this is another thing that I do every single morning is I will clean the kitchen and just kind of pick up, wipe down the counters quickly and usually I'm unloading the dishwasher, but for some reason we did not start the dishwasher the night before. We probably had baseball or something. I can't even remember at this point, but we did not start the dishwasher the night before. So I'm going to load the rest of these dishes in here and go ahead and start that, then wash any dishes that need to be washed by hand.
So a lot of you are asking about the boiled peanuts in my last video or in my pantry video. You just stick them on the stove, boil them, heat them up, let them soak, let them soak for about 12, how long? Let them soak <laughs> for like a day. So for today, I'm going to be using my e-cloth and some really hot water to disinfect the surfaces on our table and countertops. And all you need with the e-cloth is hot water, honestly, just to disinfect. Now, usually I do use other products just because I love the Mrs. Myers products and the Method cleaning products. I love the smell of a clean house and just all those awesome scents that they come out with. So usually I do use those, but since I was in a hurry today, I decided just to use hot water in my e-cloth. Now, for my cleaning products, I get the majority of them from Grove Collaborative. There are a few exceptions that I will pick up at Walmart, but most of my cleaning products come from Grove Collaborative, including the e-cloths that I pick up. They do sell these e-cloths on Amazon, and there's also an e-cloth website as well, so I did link these in my Amazon favorites in the description box in case you are not a Grove Collaborative customer and you want to check them out. So also, if you've never tried Grove Collaborative, I do have a link in the description box where you can get a free five-piece Mrs. Myers gift set. It comes with the dish soap, the hand soap, the multi-surface spray, a bubble-up dish brush for washing your dishes, and then also the scrubber sponges. But I personally love shopping on Grove Collaborative just because it's so convenient because they ship everything straight to my door and I get all of my Mrs. Myers and Method products from there which is what I mainly use around my house and I will leave all of my favorite cleaning products down in the description box in case you want to try out some new ones. Now I wanted to give you guys just a little close up before I dust my nightstand and lamps off because a lot of times I'll get comments that say that we are cleaning a clean house or that I have staged a mess and that is just not the case. A lot of times you just can't see close up all the dirt and dust and all of that kind of stuff on camera but I promise you it's there and I don't clean just to film a video, I promise you. <laughs> Try to express yourself in your own way And we could have some fun No problems coming in our way I will like you just the way you are And you will like me just the way I am And I will like you just the way you are The way you are oh. Keep on doing what you do Doing what you do just keep on doing what you do Keep on doing what you do Doing what you do Doing what you do Doing what you do Doing what you like to What you like to do 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 For my mirror, I'm using another general purpose e-cloth. It's just a different color and then i am it's wet with hot water as well. And then I'm drying it off with the polishing cloth and this works so great on your mirrors and windows. Now we're moving on to the living room and all I had to do in here was vacuum the couch and then the cushions that were on the couch and I do have a few other cushions but they're in the laundry room because I was washing the covers on those. Now speaking of couch cushions, I always change our couch cushions out depending on season and decor and everything so I was actually thinking about doing either a decorate with me for summer or clean and decorate with me or even just a summer house tour so y'all let me know in the comments if you would like to see any of those videos and which one you prefer.
Now I'm going to be vacuuming and mopping the downstairs and I was vacuuming this area. This is our breakfast area and I have talked about this area before but we talked, we have gone back and forth about getting a rug in here, not getting a rug because I always have to like move the chairs out of the way to vacuum and mop. But then I think about if I were to have a rug, then the rug would just get dirty. I'm not really sure what we want to do because my kids are still pretty young and accidents happen, spaghetti on the floor, things like that. But when I was vacuuming today, I realized that there was a big spot on the floor that definitely needed to be mopped up underneath the table. So I went ahead and moved everything out of the area. I vacuumed and then I mopped the floor. So this is the spot that I was showing you. It kind of looks like milk or something fell. I'm not even sure what that is. But I wanted to go ahead and get it cleaned up really good with the mop. Now this is my all time favorite mop ever. I love this thing. I got it a few months ago. It's the Cedar Spin Mop. It is linked in my Amazon store and you can get it at Target, Amazon, you know, pretty much anywhere. But I have gone back to using regular old pine salt. I just use a little bit. I don't use a ton in there, but I do put some pine salt in there with really hot water. And the best thing about this mop is that when I'm using it, it's got a pretty long pole. As you can see, you dip it into the spin part and spin it as much as you want to wring out the water so it's not sopping wet. And then I can mop my entire downstairs at one time and my back does not hurt after. So I love this thing. If you are looking for a mop, I highly, highly recommend this one. It was only like 30 bucks. So it was totally worth it. I would pay for it over and over again. Okay, so I'm hoping that so far this video has given you guys some extreme cleaning motivation, but now I want to give you a little motivation for your soul. I have a whole Pinterest board that is full of motivational quotes on different topics as well as Bible verses on different topics, and so whenever I am needing some motivation on anything, I will go to that board and just start reading some of those quotes or even start looking up new ones. And I wanted to share one with you today that I just fell in love with and I thought maybe could motivate you guys. So the quote that I read was, every day may not be good, but there is something good in every day. And I just thought that that was the perfect quote to share with you guys today because I know that some days are so hard and I don't know if you are going through something today or if you will tomorrow and you're gonna need this reminder but I just felt like it was on my heart to share this quote with you after I read it. And I know that some days are just so hard you wanna crawl back into bed and just start over, but I wanted to just give you guys some encouragement today to think about something that happened that was good. Maybe you got to see the sunrise this morning or you got to have a really good cup of coffee or a phone call with a friend. Whatever it is, something good happened today and you just have to find it and I feel like it will just turn your whole day around or at least your mood for the time being. So y'all let me know what is something that was great about your day. If you want to share them in the comments, I love reading stuff like this and I feel like it's so inspiring even if it's the little things because a lot of times we just take those little things for granted. Now it is four o'clock in the afternoon here while I'm actually editing this part of the video. So I figured I'd go ahead and share with you guys a few of the good things that happened in my day today. And they are pretty simple. I haven't had any big extraordinary things happen today, but some good things were we got to go to church and we got there on time. We heard an amazing message. We got some quality time with the kids. Me and Gracie June actually did some DIY bath bombs together. 
the kids have been playing with their friends so now I'm getting a little bit of alone time to be able to edit this video for you guys and I'm not going to have to like rush around and do it tonight so those are some of the good things that have happened so far in our day and it's only four o'clock in the evening <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys were encouraged by that quote as much as I was and that it gave you a little bit of positivity in your day.
look in your eyes I don't know how but it feels like I'm drunk on you It's almost like you make me fly And when I look at you smile I don't know how but it feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you That's all right I'm starting to get used to it Think I'll survive I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer Our love was out of control I've been going crazy without you So long I met you in the All right, now that the floors are all done, that's pretty much all the cleaning that I'm going to do today. I'm not touching the bathrooms because that is a different day of the week. And then I also have a separate day where I dust and vacuum upstairs as well. But don't worry, this video is not over. In just a minute, I'm gonna share with you guys all the information for the 50,000 subscriber giveaway as well as what I'm doing that's extra special for my kids tonight. All right, this is real life, you guys. I seriously just finished mopping and was going to go empty our mop bucket and this happened so yeah now I'm gonna dry this up luckily it mit completely missed our couch and it completely missed our rug but it is right there at the edge of everything so I'm gonna dry that up really quick so I love keeping stuff like this in my videos just to remind you guys that messes happen and that I am not perfect. I am a real person and make mistakes all the time and don't know everything about everything. So when you guys give me tips and pointers, I love it when you're super sweet about it and not judgmental and all of that because we are all human and we all make mistakes. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. If you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I met you in the summer when you left, it was cold. Said we loved all right, so finally the house is all clean, and I can let you guys know what we're doing that's extra special tonight, and that is our movie night. The kids actually pulled out of their summer buckets their bucket list bucket that we would have a movie night and I left you guys hanging in my last video so if you saw that a lot of you were guessing and I don't think anybody guessed movie night I think a lot of people guessed like camp out um, slip and slide bubbles a lot of you figured out that it was something that we were doing at home based on the color of the paper so that was funny so I'll let you guys see the little clip the finished clip here okay are you guys ready to pull it What does it say, Kaysen? Movie night! Ooh! Some Yay! extra special movie night! Are you excited? Show me. Oh, too close. Show me. Movie night! So, they always, we always have movie nights. So the extra special part is that I'm gonna be making an extra special snack for our movie night. We always have popcorn, but I decided that I was gonna do a few of the kids' favorite candies and some other little goodies to go with our movie night snack. All right, 
so I found the idea to do this movie night charcuterie board on Pinterest because where else do you find cute ideas like this? But the Pinterest one was way prettier than mine turned out, but I still thought it was super cute. All I did was took this bowl that we already had and then I got little plastic cups and put all the kids' favorite candies in there and the only one that I would actually eat is the Reese's peanut butter cups because I'm not a big sweets person. I'd rather eat extra pasta and bread and things like that. Y'all let me know, would you rather have candy or bread and pasta? What is your weakness? But anyways, I took the little mini plastic cups and I put them inside just to see where I wanted them. And then I cooked some popcorn, popped it all up and put it in the bowl with the candy. And it turned out so, so cute. It was the easiest thing ever, and the kids absolutely loved it. Now let's talk about the 50,000 subscriber giveaway, which I'm so, so excited for. There are going to be three winners and each winner will win all of these goodies that you see right here. Now some of the products will be different colors, so I did kind of vary the colors for each thing. But overall, each winner will get all of these items. They're going to get a beach towel and a beach bag, as well as a $10 gift card from Chick-fil-A because y'all know that's my favorite a $50 gift card from Target, and then my favorite lip gloss, which is the NYX Butter Gloss in the Cream Brulee color, two pairs of fringe earrings, and then my favorite candles, which are the Salt and Shore candles that are locally poured here in Savannah, and I'm doing the Shoreline Whispers scent for you guys since we are doing a beach theme. So like I said, there are going to be three winners and to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel because obviously this giveaway is for my subscribers. Then go follow me on Instagram and then like all of my photos on my Instagram page for the month of June. The giveaway will run for the month of June and the winners will be announced on July 3rd here on the community tab on YouTube as well as on my Instagram account.
All right, so that's all the information. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about this giveaway. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a, can't talk. And encourage you guys to do something extra special for the ones that you love. There is a wasp outside of my window trying to get in. Thank you. How's that light in your eyes? Good. Ah. I said a minute and 30 seconds. What'd you do it for? Two. Alright, put it in the trash. I'm gonna eat it. 